Hello everybody, uh, this is Jim Hall from TPIS. Uh, wanted to talk about, we see a lot of stuff come through the shop, whether it's in a car or on an engine or other products customers buy and we're integrating those into projects we're doing for them. Um, one thing I've seen a lot of recently is companies selling uh, fuel injectors for engines. Um, I guess primarily what we see here as far as the engines that we see the biggest problem on with this is TPI and LT, the second gen LT 92 to 97 engines. Um, these injectors, you know, every injector has an intended use as far as a engine application and things like that. Um, I've been seeing a lot of injectors that customers are buying now, whether they buy them because they're cheap or they're talked into it by the company selling it to them. Uh, they don't have the right injector groove, the clip groove, uh, and it, it can definitely cause an issue. It can be dangerous. Uh, the injector can leak. Um, and I'll, there'll be a little video of a LT1 engine I just had on our engine dyno. A uh, customer had bought some injectors um, recently, put them in the engine, and then, you know, we, he brought us the engine to dyno and tune and make sure everything was good on. But you'll see in the video that I can move the injector up and down because it's the wrong injector for the application. There's no groove for a clip to go in. So um, I just, you know, some of, I'm not really here to sell you anything I just see this stuff and it, it bothers me um, so this is a clip for a, a, like a 85 to 92 TPI uh, engine injector clip um, LTs are similar I just don't have any handy to show you but um, basically the clip goes in just like that you can spin it um, this is a fuel rail uh, for our TPIS mini ram and it uses the same style clip as a, as a TPI engine just because the mini ram was originally designed for TPI engines so um, I'm just going to show you how this works you can put a little grease or oil on the o-ring um, you just slide now oh, there we go <laughs> you gotta have the clip in the right spot to get the injector in um, so this, you just slide it in like that. You can see here, there's a groove that we machine into the, the fuel rail and the TPI rail is the same. So you get the injector in and you can take a small screwdriver or a, uh, a pick or anything and you just move this, move this uh, little tab over. Now then that, that injector can't go anywhere. Um, I see injectors, you'll turn the fuel pump on or start the car. If you don't have the right clip, the injector will literally move down because of the fuel pressure and it'll go down into the intake manifold, um, basically till it hits the manifold or whatever interferes with it. Um, this engine I talked about, uh, previously, uh, when I had it on the dyno, I did probably a half hour of testing on the engine and then all of a sudden I just saw that the engine had a bunch of water or you know it was wet on top and uh, went out sure enough there's fuel everywhere in the dyno cell uh, because this customer wasn't using the correct injector um, so it it could have been uh, it could have been a huge fire I mean there's probably two or three gallons of fuel all over the engine over the dyno cell so uh, if you were driving a car down the road and had that happen, you wouldn't know it till it. You wouldn't know it happened till the engine quit, or uh, you saw flames coming out, or you know, it, it's just, it's not worth saving money to do it. And the people selling these injectors that don't have the right clips shouldn't be doing it. Just flat out, I don't. It's going to make some people upset, but it doesn't matter to me. Um, a lot of people use, this is an LS1 injector, which is rated at 27 to 28 pounds per hour uh, at, you know, the 58 to 60 pounds of fuel pressure that LS engines generally use. Um, it is, it's a great high quality, genuine Bosch injector that GM used for, for a while. And you can use these in a TPI or LT engine, um, but 
when they don't have the right clip groove. So uh, this is representative of a TPI or LT engine, just like that one I just put the clip on. But the O-ring to O-ring dimension is a little off, but there's plenty of material down in the intake manifold for this O-ring to seal on, but you don't have a groove that goes all the way around the injector like you know this is an LS injector there's nowhere to put a proper clip so uh, this is the same style injector uh, if you do want to use these injectors that's fine they're a great injector uh, good quality spray pattern and things like that but they don't have the groove so we do offer this as a service you can send us uh, your set of LS injectors and I've made a a tool uh, to put this groove in uh, and it works great. It'll work with an LT or an L uh, TPI injector clip. Uh, we offer that for $40 for the set. And we can also flow and clean the injectors too while they're here if, if you'd like us to do that. So um, I, I've seen a lot of close calls on vehicles that we've had here, chassis dyno, engine dyno, and I just, I kind of get tired of people selling people the wrong parts and uh, it, it can cause a big safety hazard. So um, this is an older, this would be like a 80, late 87 to, you know, all the way up through the LT, your Rochester injector. Um, and this is, a, I think this is a Holly injector. So you just want, you need to make sure the, the clip groove is in the right spot and that it goes all the way around the injector. And um, I just, it's not worth the trouble of saving a hundred dollars or trying to get something your buddy gave you to work. So, um, I just wanted to shed some light on that. And, uh, if you have any of these injectors that don't have the clip in them, uh, the clip groove, we're happy to, to do that service for you. We can get it done pretty quick. Some injectors just flat out don't even have the material to put there and they shouldn't be used in these engines. So, um, when you're shopping for injectors, make sure that not only they are the right flow rating, but they physically will fit your application. So that's why the injectors that we sell, we specifically sell them for the engines that we deal with. So we know they work, we know what they flow, we flow them before they go out the door and they're all a match set. So they all flow the same. So that is all.